Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain about the subtopic 1 in magnetism. In this subtopic, I will define magnetic field, identify magnetic field sources, and sketch magnetic field line. What is magnetic field? Magnetic field is defined as a region around a magnet where a magnet force can be experienced. It is a vector quantity. Magnetic field has two poles called north, symbol N, and south, the symbol X. These magnetic poles are always found in pairs, whereas a single magnetic pole has never been found. As you can see here in this figure, if we break down a magnet, a permanent magnet, it will produce another pair of poles. Okay. Like poles, for example, north and north, or south and south, repels each other. Okay. Whereas for the opposite poles, for example, north to south, will attract each other. There are few sources of magnetic field that we could find in this world. Okay, we can categorize this as a permanent and a non-permanent magnet. Earth is an example of a natural permanent magnet, whereas for the bar magnet, it's a permanent magnet with a typical magnetic field. A moving charge or a current carrying conductor creates a magnetic field in the surrounding spaces. Okay, next, we learn how to sketch the magnetic field lines. Okay, for magnetic field lines, I used to represent a magnetic field. Okay, for example, here, you can see this is the magnetic field lines for the magnetic field. Okay, first, in order for us to sketch the magnetic field lines, we must make sure that the magnetic field lines leave the north poles and enters the south pole of the magnet. Secondly, it can be represented by the straight line or curve. Third one, okay, it do not intersect one another. Make sure you not overlap the lines. Okay, fourth, okay, the direction of the magnetic field lines vector V is tangent to field lines. Okay, you can see here, direction of the magnetic field, right, the vector V is tangent to the field line. Okay, the fifth, the number of lines per unit area is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. Okay, you can see here, for the lines that is close together, it is a stronger field magnetic line, magnetic field line. Okay, you can see here. The lines is close together, that means it is a stronger field. Whereas, if you see here, the line is, the number of lines is lesser than the, this one, so it shows that it is a weaker field. The number of lines per unit area is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. So the lines lesser, that means weaker field. The lines, more lines, means that is a stronger field. Symbol of the magnetic field can be represented as in figure. Magnetic field lines enter into the page perpendicularly can be represented by the cross. Whereas for the dot, it means that the magnetic field line is out of the pitch perpendicularly. There are various patterns of magnetic field lines. Example, the bar magnet. This is an example of the earth magnetic field. This, this is a pattern for the magnetic field lines around the straight wire. This is a pattern for the unlike pole attraction. And this is the pattern for the light pole repulsion. That means at the P point P here, it is neutral. Okay, and this is the pattern for a circular coil. This is an example of the magnetic field line 
body solenoid. Okay, let us do some exercise to reflect our knowledge of the magnetic field. Okay, which of the symbol in the figure shows that magnetic field line is flowing into the screen? Okay, so the answer should be Q. Yeah, first. Okay, because the symbol for the magnetic field lines into the screen is represented by the cross. Let's take a look at the next example. Sketch the magnetic field line pattern around the bar magnets for the following cases. Okay, for figure A, that is the light poles, and B for the opposite pole. Okay, you can pause these videos and for you to sketch the magnetic field line. You should get this type of line for the magnetic field lines for the light poles and this is the, the magnetic field lines pattern for the opposite poles or unlike poles. Okay, at point X here is a neutral point whereas the resultant magnetic field is zero. That's all for this topic. Thank you.